Yes, we use an old single mattress as a headboard. Don't even ask why. There's two different toys, each on a stick, braced across the top of the headboard with books on top to hold it steady. And they're wrapped as necessary to make sure that they can swing freely at the head of the bed. Obviously, this is considered a good thing. This will be a short video because it really is bedtime, but the kids keep doing cute things that I really want to try to get on video while I've got them here. So he doesn't know whether to play with the ladybug or the blue feathered thing. I guess the ladybug wins, or loses, one or the other. By the way, they're both Kong-made toys, and um, they're about the sturdiest and most appealing toys on strings on sticks that I have found yet. Plus they're like all natural and stuff, so it's really cool. <laughs> beat up one, beat up the other one. The elasticity is great with them. Yeah, and uh, you know, it's actual wood sticks and all natural materials and... Didn't one come out of catnip? I think they both have catnip in them. Cory's a little young to respond to catnip yet, though. Yeah. But they're okay for any age group, though. <laughs> There's Cory's bed. It's, uh... In the middle of the head of the bed, which is where he sleeps at night. Well, he has the option of sleeping there at night. He's now active enough, he doesn't always stay there all night. He can't quite get up to the top of the headboard yet, but he knows darn well that's where the toys are anchored, and he does make some attempts to get up there and get them loose. Ah! It's a Cory! Hi, Cory. I guess it's time to end the video now.